stronghold, but that's not stopping two Democrats from challenging Republican incumbent Don Leahy. News 18's Brad Oppenheim joins us to tell us about the Democratic candidates and what they're hoping to see for the future of Indiana. Brad. Jeff and Gina, according to the 2010 U.S. Census, nearly 65,000 people live within District 25. I talked with both of the candidates running on the Democratic ballot and asked why they want to represent the people of District 25. Democrats Maurice Fuller and Justin Notoris are on the ballot for the Indiana House District 25 seat. I think I've got a lot of common sense. I think I do a lot of good job for the taxpayers of Indiana. If you feel strongly in one direction, then that might be the right person for you. And if you feel completely the opposite, then you might want to look a different, a different way. One of the issues both candidates are proponents of are rights for union workers. A retired NIPSCO employee, Maurice Fuller, was a union worker for more than three decades, making the issue relatable to him. I've always been a union man. At least you got a voice. Uh, a lot of employers are play, play pretty rough, you know what I mean. And if you don't have any back or any voice, you're in trouble. Notorious grew up in a union family. Our campaign stands up for the, for the skilled labor force. The candidates don't see eye to eye on every issue. Fuller says he's opposed to same-sex marriage. Nothing in the Bible says that's permissible. If you can prove to me it's permissible in the Bible, go for it. But there is nothing. It's not so much up to a, a, an individual person's belief as it is um, um, a, a right, a, just a basic, a basic human right. Notorious is a first grade teacher at Wyandotte Elementary School in the Tippecanoe School Corporation. He feels the education system could do better, so he wants to take action. I'm not happy with the direction that I'm seeing things such as standardized testing go, and I want to be a voice in the house to, to represent the, the students of, of the district, as well as the state of Indiana, and a voice for the teachers that are in there working hard every single day, giving it their all. As far as their campaigns, the candidates have been reaching out to voters, explaining why they're the better candidate. From the day my campaign decided to file our paperwork, we decided we were going to go at it 100 percent. And uh, there's, there's no way that I would be okay with backing off the, backing off the gas or just uh, you know, going idle. Say if the people are unhappy with Mr. Leahy, they'll vote for me. Leahy is unopposed in the Republican primary. Brad Oppenheim, News 18.